Thousands of union workers rallied against the legislation. They are worried about the impact on training programs and jobs. Julia Fellow is live with that part of the story. Julia. Mike and Carol, good evening. I just got off the phone with a leader with the AFL-CIO. He tells me that they're very worried. It's still unclear if everyone will be heard before the special session is over. They say that there still is a line. Many people not even signed up yet. Still people, many dozens of them waiting in the overflow areas, waiting to be heard during this special session to speak. Meanwhile, you could not miss them outside of the Capitol today. Protesters call this another showdown at the Capitol with sounds and signs reminiscent to Act 10. To fight for better wages and working conditions, to fight for a strong middle class and a better day, that's what we're doing here, right? Andrew J. Jeets, who says he was a conservative, says this is the first time he's driven from Grafton to protest at the Capitol. I have a cousin that's going into teaching, so with Act 10, I really had to question that. It was time for me to actually do something instead of just talk about it. Capitol Police report about 2,000 people came to demonstrate. Dozens waited in overflow rooms to share their voice before it hits the Senate floor. The secretary treasurer for Milwaukee Area Labor Council believes people won't see the repercussions of this bill for years to come. This is what they intended to do. This is years and years of ravaging. We live to fight another day. And back out here live, it's still unclear if everyone will be able to speak at this special session. It was supposed to end at 7 o'clock tonight. It's a very fluid situation right now. As soon as we learn more, we'll pass it along to you live. Reporting live in Madison, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very contentious debate. Thanks, Julia.